Hi everyone, this is another video on speakers, actually on modifying ELAC B 5.2. Uh, these are great speakers, not only for the price, but they are punching above their weight and I really like them. Though they are made uh, to the price point, so there are things that uh, you can make better in your own home. Uh, there are three mods. Some of them, most of them I actually got from the web. One of them is the uh, standard uh, crossover modification, but two other ones are mechanical ones. So the first mod, let's take this out. It's not so easy with one hand if you do not want to break the cover. Okay, so the first one is pretty simple. In order to smoothen the treble response, you need to take a small screwdriver and remove the grill for the treble driver. Okay, you just need to place it in the opening in one of these holes and then slowly make your way out, trying not to bend the shape so it can be replaced later. Okay, it still looks good. Actually, in my opinion, it looks better <coughs> than with the grill on, but you need to be aware of the fact that you don't have a protection on treble driver at the moment. Uh, and of course, basically the first thing you always do when you're buying new speakers, you're removing the grills, the cloth grills. Okay, so that's for the first mod. Uh, what it gives you, what it does give you. It gives you a smoother treble response. Uh, what does it mean in listening? It means that the treble is uh, smooth, it's uh, not so harsh, uh, which doesn't mean that the treble, harsh, the treble was harsh to begin with, uh, but then again it, uh, it's slightly, slightly more laid back. Uh, there are also some gains in the details, uh, but these are small ones. Anyway, uh, recommend that mod because it's very simple and it's easily reversible. Okay, so for another two mods, I have prepared my speaker, the other one, so you won't have to watch me unscrewing all the screws. Okay, so the second mod is uh, actually uh, making the dampening on the bus speaker a little bit better. In order to do that you need to uh, get that speaker out. How do you do that? You need to unscrew these four screws here and you need to unscrew these four screws here. And then you need to place your speaker on the back or on the side and just give it a nice pat on the back. Uh, both uh, speakers will be popping out so watch out for them. Try to block them with your hand and uh, we don't need to take the treble one although it will be also removed okay let's take this out let's take the speaker out and you'll see what i mean let's make it okay so here it goes this speaker basket was not made from cast iron or cast aluminium. Uh, it was made from uh, pressed uh, aluminium or iron or steel. I don't know. Anyway, it's uh, it's uh, very ringy stuff. Uh, maybe not at the moment because it's after the mod. Anyway, it transfers the vibrations from the speaker basket to the magnet and to the whole speaker. So what uh, can you do about this? About this? Uh, is to place some pieces of uh, dampening um, self adhesive mat, uh, like the ones that are used in uh, car audio for dampening the car doors. These mats uh, are a very interesting thing because they are able to uh, transfer the vibrations uh, into heat. It doesn't actually mean that the speaker is heating at the moment and uh, it will not be heating. It's more about the physic uh, physical process. So, you just need to cut out pieces matching the brackets, like here, and stick it on all parts 
of the uh, speaker basket. And that's basically all for this mod. Uh, what does it give you and uh, what are the changes that you can actually hear? Uh, it helps with the bass. The bass gets uh, controlled, uh, it goes uh, a little bit deeper, uh, it's um, kind of hard to exactly describe it, but it's, it's more like it's uh, clear, fast, more controlled, and I think my ears tell me it goes a little bit deeper, but this may be uh, caused by the fact that it's uh, clear, so, so it's not uh, bloomy. Again, uh, to begin with, the speaker was not bloomy at all, but right now the bass is uh, a little bit better. For the very small cost, because mat like that uh, costs like, uh, I don't know, less than one dollar for square feet, something like that. It's very cheap. Okay, and the, for the last mod, the last one is also pretty simple. I wanted to stay with the mods within a very limited budget here so what i did with the, with the crossover i was not replacing the capacitors with new ones what i did is bridging the treble capacitor this one with uh, jansen superior 0.1 microfarad capacitor and again, what are the results? Uh, the results are, are the usual stuff. So basically, treble gets more airy. Uh, there is uh, more detail in treble. Uh, it's smoother. It's basically a tad bit better quality. Uh, and still, this mod was cheap because uh, although these uh, capacitors are not the cheapest Janssen series, uh, they are still not expensive because they are uh, quite low capacity. 0.1 microfarad and that's basically all about these three mods I am kinda missing one thing because uh, I wasn't sure about the total sum of the results uh, for the mods so I haven't got a video comparing uh, one speaker already made and the second speaker uh, in stock configuration uh, I was amazed when I finished both of them uh, and I connected them to my uh, Abraham, Abrahamson amplifier uh, to check out the results with uh, some songs that I know by my heart. Uh, it was... Uh, again, it's all subjective. For me the changes were huge. Uh, I'd say that if I were to measure them they would still be less than, I don't know, 1% or half percent of the sound signature that has been changed. Uh, but uh, in my subjective view, uh, the results were amazing. The bass was better controlled. Uh, that alone gives you a better um, treble reception. Uh, again, I've also changed the crossover to help with the treble. The original stock capacitor is very uh, cheap, uh, though it's still good that it's a uh, foil one. Uh, it's not an um, electrolytic capacitor, so that's good. But you can still make it a little bit better with very small amount of money. Uh, also, uh, taking off uh, both uh, grills, the cloth one and the metal one, this is a very small thing. It takes, I, I don't know, less than five minutes for both speakers. And you can actually hear the result. Don't do that if you have uh, kids playing with your speakers. Don't do that if you have cats walking over your speakers. Uh, but uh, otherwise, do it. The speaker looks a bit better. Just take a look at this. It looks better, in my opinion, at least. And it sounds better for no money. So, that would be all for ELAG B5.2. <laughs> uh, I think the same mods can be applied to ELAG B6.2, because these are basically the same speakers, just a tad bit better. <clears throat> I still recommend these speakers even in stock configuration, because uh, they are very good. For the price and not for the price, they are just good speakers. Uh, right now I've replaced them with uh, Wolfdale uh, 
Diamond 12.2 uh, because uh, I was able to get them very cheap and they are also great speaker but uh, class higher than, than Elax but I will be leaving these modified uh, Elax uh, to my daughter because they are very good okay so that's all folks uh, quoting the classic and uh, I think I hope I may be uh, preparing uh, more reviews more uh, info videos in future because that's my plan and I have quite a lot of equipment at the moment so there is something to review the white ones are diamonds 12.3 uh, they are in burning right now I cut them cheaply with some scuff marks uh, on the white lacquer but I'll be also correcting this and maybe there'll be another video on the subject. So enjoy the rest of your day. Have a nice evening, morning or weekend. Bye guys.